everyone, so today we are going to compare Leonardo AI Photo Real versus Stable Diffusion SDXL model. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first prompt is Chrome Robot with Neon Tech Armor and Cyberpunk City, Hyper Realistic Photography. And this is the Photo Real version. So as you guys can see, the quality is amazing. It has great texture, great shine and reflection. Let's go ahead and check out the Stable Diffusion version. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the SDXL model. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so now when I'm comparing the two, I think I'm actually, I think I actually do prefer the SDXL version. They're pretty close. I do think I see slightly more texture than I do with the photo real version. We're talking about very, very tiny differences here. So Mm, yeah, I think I'm definitely going to go with this model, the SDXL version. Prompt two is the futuristic Shelby Mustang flying car, hyper realistic photography. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so this is the photo real version and we can zoom in. Has great quality. It is slightly glossy, not as much texture. And I hope that's not going to be the case uh, without a bit of extra focus on the details, but I'll do that next time. Let's go ahead and check out the SDXL version. Yeah, so I do think that the SDXL version has slightly more texture than the Leonardo AI photo real version because even on the tires, I'm starting to see that it's not just the sharpness, but there's also a very clear, like an extra layer of texture over the photo rail. Um, I mean, it still has similar kind of like glossy shyness, slight blurriness. Um, yeah. We can kind of see that here too. So I think the SDXL model, it's not the entire image that has like a higher level of texture, but it is like hyper focus on specific areas. So if I had to choose between the two, once again, I think I'm going to go with the SDXL. Okay, the next prop is a Latina woman surrounded in a field of white tulips at sunrise during golden hour hyper realistic photography. And of course, the tulips are beautiful. Um, we do have two ladies instead of one. Uh, there is an issue with the hand not being accurate, uh, but overall the hair um, looks beautiful. I wish that their eyes were open. Go ahead and check out the SDXL version. Okay. <laughs> no, absolutely not. So yeah, uh, <laughs> the Leonardo AI, photo real version definitely wins. Now, if we were only focusing on the tulips, the flowers look beautiful. Um, the glow, the transparency between the petals. Um, this just looks like a dream. But this person, it looks, it just looks more like a cartoon. It doesn't really look real. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go with the yeah, as you guys can see, this is the Leonardo AI version. It looks way better. So we're definitely going to go with the Leonardo AI photo real version over the SDXL version on this prompt. The next prompt is a beautiful woman sitting in a field of red orchids with golden accents, hyper realistic photography. Okay. And it is beautiful. Once again, the eyes are closed, but the orchids are gorgeous. The skin texture, I mean, the dress, everything looks beautiful. Like, why? Why did they turn her head this way? <laughs> um, the flowers are not in focus. There's absolutely no true detail on the foreground. Um, this section right here, we're starting to see more uh, of a detail, but it's like at 50%. It still has too much of a blurriness to it. Um, I have no idea what pose this is because this is like an arm and this is like this is like two people that were um, supposed to be here um, but yeah no uh, the eyes are not done well um, I do love her hair that this would have been a beautiful composition if there was more sharpness if the model was done right and the fact that there were gold accents because I do love the outfit 
uh, with the slight glimpse of the gold and the red. That would have been stunning. Uh, but yeah, because there's just too, there's just too many uh, distortions. Um, yeah, we're definitely going to have to go <laughs> with uh, Leonardo AI photo rail for this one. Okay, and then the last prompt is going to be a male model scientist building a robot with glowing mechanical suit, futuristic background, hyper-realistic photography. Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, there is a lot of blurriness. Uh, I'm not sure why his hand has been disconnected. It's like he's building his own hand and the robot is helping him while he's fixing the robot at the same time. There's a lot of inception going on here. Um, the eyes are not um, there. He has very long eyelashes, but there doesn't seem to be any clear definition for the eyes. The hair looks great. Uh, the follicles right here are stunning. There's a beautiful shine from like an overhead light. The texture of the shirt and the vest, there's a clear definition between the two. So there are a lot of details. I wish it was a bit more clarity, but I can easily fix that. Um, in Photoshop or trying to adjust some of the settings in Leonardo AI. And this is the XDXL model. And I do think there is a higher level of definition and clarity and sharpness and details. I see that specifically here. Um, let me take a closer look. The hair looks good. The stable diffusion model did a lot better. There is an issue with the hands. They are not like, oh, I just noticed that. Like there's a human hand coming at him versus going towards the robot. So we have we would have to definitely fix that. So I think so when we look at both of them, it's like they both have issues with the hands being disconnected. That's kind of a odd thing to happen with both models so that's interesting um but overall i think i would go with i would go with the stable diffusion model the sdxl just because it has a higher texture and clarity and it would make it much easier for me to edit in photoshop so i think if my numbers are accurate i think i'm going to go with the uh sdxl model i think stable diffusion did create a higher level of texture over the Leonardo AI models but I think they both still need a lot of work and adjustment as far as making sure that the details are accurate they are getting pretty close to the prompt but there are still a lot of different issues not as consistent as I would like when it comes to uh, texture and clarity which I do think stable diffusion is doing a better job than the photoreal version but they're pretty close. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to go with Stable Diffusion on this one. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And of course, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos of me comparing different AI tools. So all right, guys, have a great evening and see you guys next time. Bye bye.